Hi guys, this is Jeremy Mason McGraw. I have a passion for a great story. I love learning the stories of my clients. This next interview is with Wilhelm Luxem. He's the general manager of the Hotel Barlock in Zurich, Switzerland. The Barlock is a legendary hotel built in 1844 during the rise of the European hotel industry. It's an amazing piece of history and it's got a great story that I enjoyed learning and I hope you do as well. The, the Bohr family, uh, who has created this hotel in 1844, over 170 years ago, they had a hotel in the city center of Zurich. Like many European cities, was still behind the medieval walls. And uh, this hotel was quite successful, uh, but he had a little small uh, lodge just outside the walls, on the lakeside. As it showed, some people were quite interested to stay at that place. So Mr. Bauer realized there might be some business and he started to build a larger hotel on the lakeside, which those days a lot of people found a rather crazy idea. But he had a vision and he was proven right because within a few years his dependence on the lakeside became his main business and he eventually after a few years decided to sell off his hotel in town and uh, build a proper large hotel as we see today on the, uh, on the shore of, of Lake Zurich. It was in a, more or less in the aftermath of the French Revolution, in fact, because up until then, uh, hotels didn't really exist. You had, of course, uh, small lodges, but uh, the, the aristocracy used to live in their castles and in their uh, prestigious mansion. And now, of course, there was a big change in society and a lot of uh, uh, industrialists uh, and, and, and the, the high bourgeoisie, they started to be become wealthy and they wanted to live a life um, that was prestigious and that was the time when hotels uh, started to grow and Switzerland was probably the first time that professionalized this trade and the Boro Lago is one of the oldest hotels uh, that has been created uh, in 1844 and what is so nice it has maintained the ownership the same family now in the sixth generation still possesses this hotel and they're not only possessing it they're running it it's a family-run hotel which makes it a very special place the people ahead of their time the visionaries the 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 the, 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 the adventurous people of the respective times they always stayed in Borodak and, and from the very beginning so we have uh, the composer uh, Richard Wagner who spent a number of years in Zurich and most of this time actually at the Borodak uh, in fact he was even doing the premiere of uh, the first part of Valkyrie, his opera, at the Borulak. He was writing it here and he was uh, performing the premiere of it with his father-in-law, Franz Liszt, on the piano. The Nobel Prize for Peace, in fact, it was decided at the Borulak uh, when uh, a lady, uh, Franz Sutter, uh, who knew, knew very well Mr. Nobel and uh, knew his passion for many uh, anthroposophic uh, uh, issues. So she convinced him uh, in the lounge of uh, the Borolak to invest uh, the, the Nobel Prize for Peace, which in fact he agreed. Service uh, is all about details. And details in our hotel are delivered, let's say, under two aspects. The first and a very important one, of course, is the hardware. You need a hotel that is well-designed, uh, uh, well-furnished, uh, perfectly maintained. But that's, at the end of the day, a given. To make that uh, given a uh, lively, emotional product, you need the right people. Uh, that's our staff. Uh, we have 250, 250 employees for 120 rooms, which is for European standards extremely high, and of course very expensive, but that makes a difference. There is a sense of professionalism, but it's not a standardized professionalism uh, that is sort of done by the book, uh, it's by the heart.